In this video, we're going to demonstrate how Denaro Data Virtualization can help with cloud migration journey for your workloads. Even though the Denaro Data Virtualization does not perform the migration, but it can help alleviate the impact on a virtual layer and allow the end users to continue to use their reports and dashboards without any changes. For this demo, let's consider a simple report which generates the customer total sales by year. The report is built on top of a Denaro virtual view and gets the data from an on-premise Oracle and Microsoft SQL Server databases. Let's execute the report in Power BI which connects to Denaro data services layer, which in turn joins the data across Oracle and SQL Server and presents the same. The Denaro view customer sales by year country provides the data to the Power BI report. The migration of data from on-premise databases and data warehouses to their cloud equivalents can be a significant project with many potential pitfalls. Realistically, it is not possible to move the data to the cloud, for example, from Oracle to Redshift in an overnight fashion. Rather, it is handled in phases and workloads. With partial migration, a subset of data is migrated to cloud source. In this case, Redshift and the migration is ongoing. It does not have to be one step migration, thus leading to iterations as needed. Whereas with the full migration, the entire data has been moved to Redshift. The ETL flow suggested to use the Redshift based warehouses and the on-premise Oracle database has been decommissioned. Let's get started. The Virtual Data Port Administration Tool is a development studio that allows connecting to data sources and defining a logical and business layer model. Open the view Customer Sales by Year Country. This final view contains an interface view IV Store Sales which is created on top of a derived view DV store sales combining the store sales from Oracle and date dimension table from MS SQL Server. This integration provides a logical isolation of model and allows us to perform transformation on this view without affecting the final view. The interface view is finally joined with the standalone customer table from Oracle and aggregated to provide the final results. Now that we have seen how the pre-migration setup is for the report, let's move on to the migration phase one, partial migration. For this phase one demonstration, all the historical data has been moved to Redshift and only current year sales data is available on on-prem Oracle database. Now, we have data across on-prem and cloud leading to a hybrid architecture. With migrated data in place, the end user needs to retrieve data from either Oracle or Redshift or both depending on the filter condition. The traditional approach would require to create three sets of reports with current, historical and total. This approach is not only very rigid but also very inefficient. That's where Denaro's sophisticated optimizer and data virtualization comes into play. Since the end user will only consume customer sales per year country, we are allowed to change the underlying components as long as the schema is not changed. Let's open the interface view which has an integrated view DB store sales. This can be replaced with an union view union store sales that will fetch the data from Oracle and Redshift based on the filter condition. Suppose the cutoff year is 2018. The union view would retrieve data prior to 2018 from Redshift and current year's data from Oracle. Now let's execute the final view and see how the data is retrieved. For this demonstration, we will request a summary of data for last three years. This would require data from both Oracle and Redshift. In the execution tab, we will apply a filter condition which is sales year is greater than or equal to 2016 and execute it. 
As you can see in the execution phase, the Denaro requested current year's data from Oracle, which is 2018, and historical data for the last two years from Redshift. Similarly, any range of values can be requested and Denaro would adjust the request accordingly without any manual intervention. Now, from the Power BI perspective, the end user was still able to execute the same report again and get the desired results. Now, let's move on to phase two of migration, wherein all the data has been moved to Redshift. The Oracle data source has been decommissioned at this time. The changes required to incorporate this new change would be as simple as to replace the union view with the integrated view from the Redshift RS complete sales data in the interface view. Now let's execute the final view again and check how the data is retrieved. In the execution tab, apply the same filter condition that is sales year greater than or equal to 2016 and execute it. As you can see in the execution phase, the data is retrieved completely from Redshift. Again, from the end user perspective, no changes have ever made visible and he or she can execute the report as is and retrieve results. As a center of gravity for data moves towards cloud, it's best practice to install Denaro closer to where the data resides. To support a hybrid and multi-cloud architecture, a multi-location deployment would be recommended. In such cases, Denaro to Denaro connections will allow complex and costly combination be delegated to local data sources, avoiding unnecessary and expensive data movement. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you have learned how Denaro can accelerate and assist with your cloud migration strategy.